hi everybody welcome back to my channel it's beauty passion yes i hope everybody is having a great taco tuesday let's get into this beauty talk but before we get into this beauty talk i need you to like my video i need you to like my video right now because you already know it's gonna be great and if you are not subscribed to my channel who better who better ain't nobody better than beauty passion nobody all right, let's get started with this beauty talk. So, Essie has put up her last Q&A for the year 2022. And this is the first Q&A that she's really kind of like answered some things that um, was talked about in the media about her, some things that has been said about her. She really addressed a lot of stuff in her Q&A. So let me let y'all listen to some things that she addressed in her Q&A. Why would I put my hands on Armand? I'm not gonna read the rest because it was a hateful comment for real, but that's what they were trying to get out. I did see that going around. Um, me and Armand actually spoke on it and he had, um, he was like, why are they saying that? Like, that's not okay. Um, he never said it, I never said it, but y'all are basing off of, um, I guess it all stemmed from y'all watching or his fans watching our old pranks and the old uh, family channel that we used to have, which I will be taking down by the way. I just out of respect of everything and because it's just no longer that i will be taking those videos down and that channel down i think y'all are basing those pranks uh based off that y'all thought that i would put my hands on him or that he was just so abused like first of all don't ever attach my name with anything that has to be of anything domestic violence i don't condone none of that i don't i have i never grew up with my family with my parents doing that in front of me like it was never that like the man was not just he was not getting slapped around like i was just why would i like do y'all think he was gonna stay for three years with that going on like be for real you know what i'm saying like that never happened he told me he told me he was gonna make a video about it to clear that up um i don't know if he ever got to it or not but it's not true i've never just been putting my hands on him like those videos were content um the other one is that i see a lot um if i get along with his significant other or have i met her i have not met her I have not met his significant other. Um, I've asked to, I've wanted to, honestly, since the moment that I, I realized it was something, you know, he was gonna pursue. I wanted to meet her because I just feel like it's important that we meet, you know, like you're gonna be around my daughter and you know, when you're in a serious relationship with somebody that has a has to share a daughter or a child with somebody else, sometimes I will probably need to speak to her. Or she'll probably need to speak to me. Whatever the case is, I've always been on board to meeting her, always. And he can tell you that himself. Like, I've always asked, like, let's meet, you know, let's do this. How can we, let's do it in person, let's do it over phone. However, however it needs to happen. Just as long as that happens, it will just give that, like, peace of mind and, you know, that comfort. Is, will our mom be spending Christmas with Legacy? Which it already happened. I asked this, this Q&A thing, like, before Christmas stuff. And I want to answer this question because it's related to something that I wanted to clear up as well. Something that got brought to my attention today which back in october we had already established i said that i wanted to spend christmas with her this year i wanted to do some fun stuff i wanted to get to the snow and i wanted to do some fun um christmas activities that we have out here in the bay area with her so that was always set in stone he was okay with it he understood he was like okay you know what i'll do new year's with her blah 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 um since y'all are so much in my business this is not even y'all business but I just feel like I have to say this because y'all are saying that I'm keeping my child away from her father. And it's honestly so disrespectful to me. It's so disrespectful to me because Halloween. We planned a Halloween party and it, it couldn't happen. It didn't happen for some reason. It just didn't happen. And it was too late by the time that he t that it was set in stone. It was too late. It was too close to Halloween. So she just she was already here, so she stayed here. That was that. When Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving came around, um, I think she had been with him a little before Thanksgiving and then she came back. She had a shoot with me and he had to leave early anyway. He had to leave early. Thanksgiving came around. Um, nobody, I don't think nobody even, either, neither him or me really said anything about Thanksgiving. So, and she was here, so she ended up staying here. And again, Christmas came along and I already had planned to have her. So nothing was maliciously, maliciously done for me to have her all holidays like i said that's that 
he's gonna have her next month actually so i'm not sure when because he just let me know today that he has to do some press conferences and stuff all on um, the beginning of the month but i'm sure he'll have her at some point next month anyway so they will be together you know um oh the last thing i wanted to just clear up because i do see a lot of negative feedback towards me again on this is um how i don't want to post legacy as much when i say i don't want to post legacy as much on the internet i mean youtube and i've already um brought this to our mom's attention and we're just we're just talking on it we're figuring it out it's nothing set in stone obviously because his opinion matters as well but i just wanted to bring it up to him first before i ever even said anything on the internet i was just saying and thinking that it would just be best to have my child that i had that i birthed not that y'all birthed but that i birthed and made with him that it would be best for our child to just not be on youtube right now like you know vlogging her every move and like where she goes to school like sharing her life basically is what i think we should put a pause on for right now it's, it's okay so the first thing sc addressed was the type of people that are mostly attacking her in the media is women so that probably is the reason why she put up that twitter a couple of days ago talking about dusty ass old women auntie granny whatever so that's what she's saying most of the people that is attacking her in the media is women and she basically said it's weird because she said she's always been like for women like she's always been like most of her fan supporters have been women so the fact that 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 they're have changed or had they have uh started attacking her she said it's a little weird but let's just get honest be honest here those are our mom's fans the old dusty granny <laughs> whatever y'all want to call them those are our mom fans that are attacking her so that's what she's saying she said most is from there and she said she just really can't understand the attacks and she said she just basically try to deal with it the best she can but she is really thrown off about the hate coming from that particular age group okay the second thing she addressed was the fact that most of the hate comments is like i said y'all calling her a abuser now she addressed it that she addressed that she said now we did do a video which is the video everybody's seen the video that people reacted to about them doing a mukbang and they said the reason why they broke up the first time um it was because of physical contact armand didn't like that they broke up um they got back together and they were together two to three years so she addressed that and then she went on to say that she actually had talked to Armand about coming out and putting out a statement saying that that stuff wasn't true that's the part that kind of disturbed me because my thing is this if i'm your baby mama and i call my baby daddy up and this goes back to my previous video about how he don't protect sc at all Y'all say Armand is this great man. And I, you know, I don't, nobody knows. I'm just being honest. Don't, ain't nobody in a relationship with him other than Nene. I don't think nobody else is, I don't think he got a relationship with nobody else other than Nene, from what I understand. Um, but if my baby mama call me up and say, hey, can you put out a statement? But first, do you think this true what they saying? She said that he's saying he don't know why they saying that at all. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you disagree with this, these comments. Can you put out a video or make a statement so they can stop attack, attacking me saying I'm an abuser? To date, he has not put up a video to protect her, defend her, nothing. He let the media smear his baby mama all across the internet based on something that people seen three years ago or a video from three years ago nothing recent everything else other than that she said were pranks it was content for new year, content for youtube N basically everything else was fake and it was content so she basically saying she was forced to address it in her q a 
because Armand never made a video to protect her or to address it. So she's addressing it. She says she's not that person that you all are painting her out to be. And she will never be that person. And she would wish you all would stop calling her an abuser in the media because it's just simply not true. That's what she said. All right. The next thing she addressed. The next thing she addressed was the fact that she has not met Regine yet. I was surprised by that because at this point, they have had at least two or three times that they have came in contact with each other. Like, she's been to Atlanta. She's picked up daughter. Like, how in six months have you not met her? That's weird to me. Um, to be honest, I probably would have met Reg. If I was Essie, I would have met Regine by now. I'm just being honest. I don't know. She don't. She's not saying like she's against meeting her. It don't sound like it. So that right there kind of is a little bit awkward too. Like why haven't she met Regine? Hmm. Okay. So she addressed that she has not met Regine yet, and in the future she's willing. Or open to meet her um, in the future. Okay, the next thing she addressed was the fact that everybody was saying that Essie was keeping legacy from Armand. Now, let's just be honest. Our reactions are based on what we see on screen. We don't know any behind the scenes conversations. We don't know none of that. We're just reacting off what we see on screen. We see that our mom is visibly upset because she don't, he doesn't have his daughter. Um, not so much a Thanksgiving, but it was more of more so of Christmas. Um, the fact that Essie has came out and said that they already have discussed it, the holiday situation was really shocking to me. She said it was back in October that they discussed the fact that. Thanksgiving just was like a default. Like he was, she was with him like right before Thanksgiving. By the time Thanksgiving coming around, it just didn't happen to meet up. Christmas was already discussed back in October who was going to have legacy for Christmas. So with that said, I mean, he can still be hurt that he doesn't have his daughter on Christmas, but the assumptions that we were given or that people were given was the fact that Essie just didn't give him her on Christmas. And so uh, that goes back to what I'm saying about how our mind kind of fuels the fire to some of the things going on in the media. Like that could have been part of the story. Well, y'all, look, me and Essie did talk about it before, you know, October or in October that she wasn't going to be with me for Christmas. But I'm going to have her for New Year's Eve, so don't worry. But, you know, she's not going to be with me for Christmas because we had already decided that she's going to be with Essie's family. Like, we already decided that months ago. The way our mind portrayed it is the, like, he was supposed to get her for Christmas. Essie didn't bring her to her bring bring him her to him and she's keeping him up that's how i don't say that stuff that's i'm just going by what i see the comments say so i'm saying that it's kind of like you see how he kind of could have smoothed that over by saying to the public y'all when he seen start seeing these comments y'all that's not that me and essie had discussed way months ago that he wasn't gonna that I wasn't going to have legacy. I'm just sad that I don't have her. That could have cleared up everything. So Essie is saying she's not keeping legacy from our mind. She would never do that. Whenever he wants to get legacy, is he can get legacy whenever he can. We need to figure out some solid days. So we need to sit down and kind of like, don't just pop up and say, hey, I want to just, oh, no, I want to. It's got to be some solid days that are set in foundation when you're co-parenting. So New Year's Eve, she had already has said that on New Year's Eve, she legacy is going to be with her dad. So we already got that proof. Uh, she's not keeping legacy from our mind. 
Christmas art was already discussed months ago. Last thing that Esty addressed was the fact that she did agree, her and Amon have agreed to not post legacy so much on YouTube, not social media as a whole, but more so on YouTube. She felt like that's where all the hate is coming from. And to be honest, she said she just feel like they need to protect legacy a little bit more now, even though they used to didn't, she said they've made a decision to not post her on YouTube as much. Now, she did state that, mm, how can she, she said it in a way like, we haven't came to a solid agreement. So basically, we haven't really came to agreement on his end of how he's going to record her. I have came to my agreement. I'm not going to post her on YouTube. As far as her dad, we're still working on that agreement. We're still trying to compromise with those things. Um, that's what she got. But it is true. They have agreed not to post her as much on YouTube. Um, in the future, they said she'll be back to social media. But for right now, they're just not going to post her. All right, so Essie address, uh, addressed a lot of good uh, things in her video. She gave us some things that we didn't even know about. And I really appreciate the fact that she has came forward and kind of cleared up her name. Because sometimes you just have to do that. Like, you can't just wait on somebody to clear your name. Especially when it comes to social media. Sometimes you're going to have to make a video to clear your own name. So... Y'all let me know how y'all feel about her Q&A in the comments below. She just released it a couple hours ago. You can go over to her channel and watch the Q&A. And then come back in the comments and let me know how you feel about it. I'm going to meet y'all in the comments. Let's go. Thank you all for watching. Hecky now, Joe. It's Beauty Passion, and I'm out.